last time. If June dies, that's it. I'm not playing anymore. And now, more of the same. Okay, so we can go up or we can go around. I'm going to go ahead and go around. There's a pair of wooden boxes here. There's nothing in them. Thank you. Look, Ace. It's some kind of snowman secret meeting. Those are just bags full of sand. You use them as counterweight when you're lifting something with a pulley system. Man, you're way too serious. Secret st <laughs> The secret snowman meeting. I can kind of see it, what you're trying to say. Alright. What's this? Given this placement, must unlock the door to the left. You think that means you, should, you have to insert something here? Yes, I would imagine so. Okay, so I gotta put... Oh, it looks like I have to put three gears there. Bronze, silver, and gold. Thick iron door blocking your way. Yeah, so it looks like the exit. Looks like this door also slides up into the ceiling. Alright, so this is the way out. Cool. Oh, what's this? The slider is down. I guess Ace feels, feels like giving it a try. Hmm, nothing. Won't move at all. Three sliders on the left are down, but this one's up. Junpei, why don't you move that slider down? Nothing. Maybe it needs to be prepared somehow. You're saying if we did something somewhere else, it would respond? Okay. So it seems like a lot of things are activated right now. So I need to activate one more. A. One of the doors on the furnace. There's an A on it. There's a circular wheel and circ little. Alright, let's give that sucker a twist. And it, well it's noisy, but it opens. And it's totally bitch pitch black in there. We um should go in here. Alright. Let's go. This looks just like the door we went into. Uh where are we? We must be on the other side, yes? Which would put us directly above the conveyor belt. At any rate, we should keep moving. There's a great deal we've yet to investigate. I guess that's true, huh? Whole bunch of boxes in my way. Catwalk. There are a number of boxes on the catwalk. I don't think we can go over there. Well, anyway, that looks like that's the pipe. Looks like the bottom connects to the conveyor belt housing. Then coal must come out this pipe onto the conveyor belt. Okay. Catwalk. Um, let's go through the C door. Looks like a hand operating, hand operated winch. Doesn't look like there's any way to uh, operate it. it. Means the wheel isn't attached. All right. So we need to find the wheel now. Here's another winch. All right, let's give this wheel a spin. What? That's weird. I don't feel any resistance. God. Ah, shit. Oh, I broke it. Good job, Junpei. Good job, Junpei. I didn't break it. It broke all by itself. Okay, so we can take this winch back to the other side, maybe? And now I need to go to C. Yeah. The hand operating winch. There's no wheel to turn. Oh yeah, I've got the wheel I pulled off the other winch, don't I? Let's see if it fits. Perfect fit, like they were made for each other. Not shake at all? Good, I should be able to turn this now. Good work, Junpei. We should be able to haul up the wooden box now. I'm tired. You see? The wooden box. It's under the catwalk. Can you see it? Some sort of device in the box. Ace, Jesus, I, I know how to turn a wheel. Huh? What's this? What happened? This wheel only turns to the left. It only turns to the left? That means we can't reel up that rope. Yeah, we can only let the rope down. Interesting. I don't think that'll be a problem. We simply need to go downstairs after letting the wooden box down. I'll be counting on you, Junpei. Sure thing, no sweat. I believe the box has reached the floor. Alright, cool. I feel like I mumbled my way through that. 
Whatever. Yeah. He stuck his head out over the side of the catwalk and looked down. The box that only recently hung just below the catwalk now sat on the floor. He'd come to ne rest near the end of the tunnel to the tunnel that covered the conveyor belt. June's down over by there. Yumbi could still see her, leaning against the wall as if she'd barely had the strength to sit up. Even from so far away, it was not difficult to see she hadn't improved. He almost thought that he could see heat rising from her body. She doesn't seem to be improving. Ace's expression was inscrutable, but what he said they he'd said what they all been thinking. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. He tried desperately to convince himself that what it, that what he said was true. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. It's... it could be. Santa's response was confident and cert. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. 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 We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. Yeah, I guess we are, aren't we? How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. That we are. And we have bombs in us. Santa snorted in disgust. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? They stood there for a few more minutes, no one speaking, until Santa turned and walked away from the winch. Junpei and Ace followed him. Well, that was fun. So, we're, you, we're being used for an experiment. June's still, I, I don't know, out cold. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. I need to go to the other side. Oh, that, oh never mind. Control panel for something. Thank you, game. Some kind of machine. Maybe a control panel? Uh, right here? I... I honestly didn't expect that to work. Well, there's only one way to find out. Dude, you did it. Everything looks alright. Okay, but what do we do now? Why don't you press the button next to it? The orange one? Yes. Alright. Bushing. Sweet. Oh, what's that? What happened? Junbei, look, the conveyor belt's moving. Conveyor belt? Well, I guess it's done moving now. It looks like a bunch of it got dumped off the end into that wooden box where we found the control panel. Wait, okay, so do we take the wooden box back up? Oh, wait, never mind. Box filled with coal. That would be heavy as shit. A wooden box full of coal. Guess there's really only one thing we can do with this stuff. Uh, throw it in here. True, but I doubt that seeing a boy of the size could actually move a ship like this at any reasonable speed. You'd need at least three, no, no four of these. I guess you know a lot about boats, huh? Well, not really. It's just common sense, you know? If that's common sense, then... I've obviously been paying attention to the wrong sense, huh? Conveyor belt comes out in some sort of arch tunnel shape. So... Do I move these now? Move There's a barrel under the stairs. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's empty. We should get Seven to throw the barrel from the top of the stairs. It'd be just like that old game, remember? Ah, oh, yes, with the gorilla who threw barrels. And you tried to jump over the barrels and make your way to the top. Yep, old Donkey Kong. Or Was it called Donkey Kong? I think it was called Donkey Kong. I played, I played that game for days man I'm not that old but I just I get I still played it because it was available to me are you 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Oh my, I didn't know you could turn to the left by one more time. There's a hole that'll let us put coal in the furnace. Maybe if we can get some coal in there and set it on fire. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Alright, that's the last of it. No coal left in the wooden box. And nothing. Great. Well, I guess I should have expected it. Why would just throwing coal into a cold furnace do anything? Ah, oh, well, a man can dream. Junpei, explain it to me again. You're planning to stoke the furnace with coal. Which will heat the water stored up in there and make it steam. Which will then drive something else. Am I correct? In other words, you want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine. And drive the steam engine, right? Yeah, I guess that's the gist of it. Hmm. Well, in this case, in that case, this is enough coal. This furnace is enormous, so we're going to need a whole hell of a lot more coal than this. I, I want to help to... Oh, hey. No, June, you sit down. Man, I totally even think... I didn't totally didn't even see her walk up. Are, are you feeling up to that? Y yes. Yeah, right. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over, June. I think you'd better get rest some more, all right? But I... No arguing. You need your rest, so just stay there. We'll handle this. Okay. I understand. All right. Time for some manly work. Let's get this coal into the furnaces. Is it going to show a splash screen of them, like, digging? Because that'd be great. Okay, it didn't, so my dreams are crushed. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Man, this is a lot of work. Alright, I think this should be sufficient. Alright, now we just gotta light it. Junpei, hand me your matches. What makes you think I have matches? I see. Then how are we gonna light it? Perhaps there's a de device nearby that allows us to remotely ignite the coal. Let's take a look, shall we? Some sort of ignition device. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Up here? Yeah. Is this? I think it might be. It probably is. I think this is how we might ignite the furnace. That means if we move that thing down. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Junpei, Ace, look at this. There's a big gears turning under the boiler here. Nice. Oh, now I have discs. The gears. They're spinning. What the hell are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. Gold disc. Alright. I think this might be the way... This might be out. What the hell did I just say? I don't know. Either way, I'm getting out of here. Because now I got... I got my things. I seek a way out. That might be it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Looks like this unlocks the door. There's a depression here that looks like the outline of three circles laid on top of each other in a triangle. Maybe. Maybe if we put those three discs we found into this thing. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's stick them in. Huh? That's odd. Nothing happened. Maybe you're, I don't know, putting them in the wrong places? Perhaps you have them facing the wrong directions. Perhaps you should rotate the discs to make the lines connect to one each other? Well, no harm in trying. When the disc is clicked, it will rotate a certain amount. When the white arrow is clicked, the discs are switched. Please note that when discs are switched, the angles for the disc are reset. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's the sun. The red lines on these discs. I think maybe I can make a star polygon with these. I found it. After an hour. I feel stupid. Yes, the door's open. Given the circumstances, Junpei's happiness was certainly understandable. A seemed to share his excitement. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Got Santa it. Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Santa snorted. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. 
I'll let Junpei handle it. Good. Let me. He still seemed irritated by something, however, and sat down by the, on the stairs petulantly. So are you only interested in being contrary? A sighed with the air of a long-suffering All parent. Right. I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Are, wait. Could... Could Santa actually be a son, maybe? He gave a quick nod to Ace and Santa and dashed off down the stairs. Before long, he was back on the first floor next to the conveyor belt and June. Oh, jumpy! As he drew closer, she stood up slowly. Are you okay? He did his best to sound calm and nonchalant, but there's no hiding the genuine concern in his voice. Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Aw. June blushed. He wasn't sure if she was embarrassed or still feverish. Uh, let me check. Just to make sure, he reached out and put his hand against her forehead. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. She was feeling far less warm than she had earlier, but she still wasn't down to what no seemed normal to him. Are you him. sure you're alright? He had to be sure. June gave him a look. Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Warrior. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior. <laughs> <laughs> June giggled. giggled. <laughs> he wasn't sure if she just made a joke or not, but seeing her smile again made Junpei feel at ease. If she was well enough to smile and laugh, then she was really feeling much better. Also, she's 21, apparently. He gave her a friendly poke on the forehead. All right, let's go. Go where? Go there. Oh, right. I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! All right, let's do it. June clasped her hands and nodded urgently. They headed back to the exit, but on their way back... On their way, they found... Oh! Santa? What? Santa, you good, man? Santa was sitting on the stairs. He was, however, holding something in his right hand and staring at it with a strange expression. June and Junpei slowed down and finally stopped in front of him. What are you looking at? Santa answered without looking up, his voice quiet. It's a photo. It's my sister. Aw. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Santa simply nodded. Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. June cocked her head, confused. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> June pay, or June. Not now. Santa glared oh, at her. Sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> June. June, you're making it worse. Please stop. Santa didn't smile or laugh. Sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> well, understandably, he doesn't know if he's going to be able to see her again. He simply turned back to his picture and spoke. I was her Santa Claus. Oh. Uh, Wait, what? This sudden revelation took Junpei by surprise. He had no idea what Santa meant. He glanced at June, who shook her head. She didn't know either. Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? No. It goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually the black Santa's tricks started to get worse and worse. And I think he became Krampus, right? Pretty soon, the white Santa couldn't stand it anymore, and he stabbed the black Santa to death. Santa, Jesus Christ. I mean, geez, Santa. When he stabbed the other Santa, the white Santa got blood all over his clothes. And that's why, these days, his clothes are red. That... Wow. Is that a real story? You could say that red is all that's left of the black Santa. Is that really... Junpei was silent. He could think of nothing to say. Jun was staring at Santa, sadness playing on her face. He continued. I wonder which Santa I am. The white Santa or the black Santa? Huh. Aww. Aww. Hmm. <sighs> All right, let's go. Man, Santa, you're... You actually have a lot of character. 
Santa stood up suddenly, his voice, his downcast demeanor gone. He shoved the picture back in his pocket and headed back up the stairs, taking them two at a time. Hmm. Huh? Junbei and Jun looked at one another. There was nothing they could think of to say. Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving, come on! Okay. Santa's voice echoed across the room from above Let's them. Let's go. Yeah. They nodded and followed him quickly up the stairs. Ace was waiting for them at the top. He was leaning against the handrail. He looked very tired. Oh, you're finally back. The door had shut, but it wasn't cause for concern. Sorry we took so long. Junpei quickly solved the disc puzzle a second time, then opened the door once again. All right. Let's go. In a single file, they walked through. After walking for nearly 15 feet, they found themselves in front of a metal door. It opened easily enough, and they passed through it as well. The new room stretched out before them. Huh. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Probably pretty old. Junpei, Ace, and Jun had stopped unconsciously, pausing to take in their new surroundings. Santa's voice broke through the momentary trance. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. Whoa. Wow, that was... That was fast. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but that was a fast transition from escape room to story to escape room. 